If you're anything like me, you probably think the Inquisitors are one of the coolest things to come out of Disney Star Wars so far. And if you think that, this is the right video for you. We're going to go over all of the Lego sets the Inquisitors have appeared in and potential Lego sets and Inquisitors we can get in the future. So if you are interested in this at all, this is the right video for you. And let's get right into it. The first set to ever include an Inquisitor was the Tidevance prototype, which came out on January 1st, 2015. This included the Grand Inquisitor and was based off the first season of Star Wars Rebels. Let's take a look at the set and the figure in hand right here. So this is the first set an Inquisitor ever appeared in. This is the Tidevance prototype from 2015, based off season one of Star Wars Rebels and really opened the door for getting Inquisitor minifigures. And um, the Grand Inquisitor, which is included in this set, is one of the more interesting characters of the show and kind of opened the door again for Inquisitors as a whole. So you get two other minifigures in the set, but they're kind of not the main importance. So here's the Grand Inquisitor. This minifigure is really awesome. His armor's great. This is the first time we got that mold for the lightsaber which you've probably seen plenty of times by now, but um, yeah, just really cool looking. You get this awesome looking helmet too. Um, some printing on the side there. Just a great Inquisitor helmet overall. And then taking a look at the actual figure himself, he just looks great. We'll compare him to the Kenobi version of this character later, which is a downgrade in my opinion, but uh, still pretty cool. Um, but yeah, great face print, just an awesome looking figure overall. And then of course you get the TIE Fighter itself, which is, you know, nothing to write home about, but he does fly this in the show. So yeah, this is the first set, the first Inquisitor, and let's move on to the next one. So the next set to include an Inquisitor is quite massive. Uh, this is Captain Rex's ATTE that came out in the summer of 2016, I believe. And this set is really, really awesome. I'm a big fan of it. It's from season two of Star Wars Rebels, although the fifth brother does not actually appear in the episode that the ATTE appears in, I believe, but nonetheless is still really awesome. And we won't look at the, the whole set because you can look up reviews for that, um, but let's refocus back onto our Inquisitor here. So this is the fifth brother, and he is a great minifigure. Um, fetching a pretty penny nowadays, actually. I'm not exactly sure how much he's going for now, but he's fairly valuable. Um, see all the printing there, his chest piece or his um, neck piece, shoulder piece, whatever you want to call it, is really great. It has the Imperial logo printed on there. There's a little back printing. He does have an alternate face as well where he's kind of screaming. And I'll talk about this a little later, but I'm kind of interested why we got just the fifth brother because he appears alongside the seventh sister, I believe. Uh, another Inquisitor, so we'll uh, talk about that more later. So the set that includes the most Inquisitors ever put into a LEGO set is the Inquisitor Transport Scythe, which came out in the summer of 2022 and was for the Kenobi show. Um, this set is really, really awesome, and it's retiring at the end of this year, so I would definitely recommend going and picking it up. But it includes three Inquisitors, which again is the most ever included in a LEGO set. And first we have the Grand Inquisitor. He looks a lot like he did in Kenobi. Um, I definitely prefer the Rebels version, but this version looks pretty awesome. The printing is great. See the backside of print on his head. Um, yeah, overall pretty good figure there. The next figure is the fifth brother. Again, we just saw him in the Captain Rex's ATTE, but this is the live action version. And I will compare these two figures at the end. Um, but yeah, pretty great looking minifigure there. Um, and then Reva, who was new for the Kenobi show and... She looks pretty good. Definitely one of the less visually interesting um, Inquisitors since she didn't really have a helmet, but still a cool character and a cool outfit. And I think Lego did a pretty good job at making her. So we have one more set that includes an Inquisitor and we'll take a look at that next. So the final set to include an Inquisitor as of now is the Ahsoka's T6 Jedi Shuttle, which is brand new, just came out for the Ahsoka show and includes the character Maroc here, which looks like an Inquisitor and has an Inquisitor's lightsaber. Overall, this is probably one of my favorite figures LEGO has ever made for Star Wars. He just looks fantastic. I don't want to spoil anything about the show, so I, I won't say too much about him here, but he looks fantastic. Of course, has the Inquisitor's lightsaber. I did add this cape onto him because he did have a cape in the show. But yeah, this is 
probably one of my favorite minifigures ever made and he just looks fantastic and is the last inquisitor we have gotten as of yet and now we'll kind of look at all the inquisitors together and then i'm going to throw out some ideas of who i think is most likely to get a minifigure in the future so here we have all the inquisitors lego has made so far together the left that's the moc hunter droid he is not an inquisitor but i just threw him in there because he kind of looks like he could be one and his shoulder armor is actually the exact same as the the rebels fifth brother has there so let's do a comparison the left we have the rebels fifth brother and the right is the kenobi version i think i actually prefer the rebels version but they both look awesome and are great in their own ways here is the grand inquisitor on the left is from kenobi the right is from rebels the rebels face in my opinion is a lot better he just looks more Sith-like and kind of crazy, but the Kenobi body is actually pretty cool. And I like his shoulder piece a lot from Kenobi. Of course, the Rebels version has his helmet, which is right here, and is honestly a pretty cool helmet. And then, of course, we have Mirok and uh, Reva there, both pretty cool minifigures in their own right. So these are all the Inquisitors Legos made as of yet. Although I think there's potential we can get more and I think I want to talk about those next and I'll throw out some of my ideas of what sets they can come in and what Inquisitors we could potentially get. So here's the seventh sister. She appeared pretty heavily in Rebels alongside of the fifth brother and I believe that she could potentially be included in a future set. Of course if Lego decides to ever go back and make Rebels sets and I have an idea for a set that I think another Inquisitor could potentially appear in, and I'm going to show you that Inquisitor now. So this is the eighth brother. Of course, if you've seen Rebels, you know what happens to him on Malachor. But kind of a cool-looking Inquisitor, and definitely could be something LEGO could make, I believe. And speaking of Malachor, that's something LEGO could make a set on. I believe that you could include any sort of figures in this, although preferably you'd include the seventh sister and the eighth brother. Um, they would both be great minifigures. You could even include like an updated Rebels Ahsoka, which of course the Ahsoka minifigure from Rebels is insanely overpriced right now. But that's just an idea for a set, and if LEGO ever goes back and does Rebel sets, definitely would be something I'd be interested in. So in my opinion, the best candidate for a LEGO Inquisitor figure would be the second sister. She's from the Jedi Fallen Order game, and was a great antagonist, great villain. Uh, Trilla's just a really cool character overall, and I think could be potentially included in a future LEGO set if LEGO decides to do Fallen Order sets, which they've kind of avoided doing. Um, we do have the BD-1 set, but that's pretty much it when it comes to sets. Uh, Trill is just a great character, and you know, if they ever do wind up making Fallen Order sets, I think she would be probably one of the first characters made. Sets that she could be included in could be a potential Cal versus uh, Second Sister, like dual set, kind of like the Ahsoka versus Small set, or potentially a TIE Interceptor, because we can see her flying that in the beginning of the game. Although, since we just caught a TIE Interceptor this year, that's pretty unlikely. But again, I think she's probably the most likely candidate of an Inquisitor we might get in the future, maybe outside of the Seventh Sister. The Ninth Sister is also a possible candidate, as she was both in Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor, and she could appear in the TIE Reaper, which actually appeared in Rogue One for the first time, but she kind of uses that as her main transport ship, and also would be a really cool set to get. But she would probably have to be a big fig, which I don't know if we've ever gotten one of those in Star Wars. And if you don't know what a uh, big fig is, I'll put a picture up here. But yeah, she could definitely be included as one of those and I think would be pretty cool. But yeah, the TIE Reaper would be a candidate for her to come in. And potentially you could just throw the ninth sister and second sister in that one set and call it a day. But we'll see if that ever happens. But, you know, I doubt it, but it would be really cool. The final Inquisitor, I think that could potentially be made into lego would be the sixth brother he appeared in tales of the jedi and was killed by ahsoka really really cool character design probably my favorite looking inquisitor out of all of them and i don't think he'd be very likely to actually show up in any sets but maybe a cmf series if they ever did that for star wars but people have made pretty cool customs of this guy so i'll throw a picture of one of those up now and the parts to get him aren't super crazy. I think it's just an overwatch head and like a hood and you can kind of customize the body and cape how you like. But a really cool looking minifigure which 
has some potential to get in the future, although I think it's a very low chance. So that'll do it for this video. Let me know what you thought and which Inquisitors are your favorite or which ones you think we could potentially see in the future for LEGO. And I thank you guys a lot for watching my video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot, and stay safe.